Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and in this video I'm going to show you how to park and shut down the Anton of 225. We are currently taxiing onto an imaginary parking position here at Leipzig Airport. Of course in real life we would be getting a marshal for this and since the original AN 225 parking position is currently blocked by our sister ship, we are going to park right in front of it. As we approach the stand, Turn off the landing lights and retract the uh, lamps as well. And with that set, all we need to do is to park up and stop our airplane. So we are just going to stop it right on this very uh, line up here. Keep in mind the brakes of the plane are not all that good, so it takes a little distance to stop the plane. Now that we've arrived on stand, we're going to set the parking brake and now start a little bit of a procedure. We are going to check that the lights are basically all off except for the nav light and the beacon light. And now we've got to go back to the navigators panel to switch off all the power. Now, personally, I like to just do it like this because it means I can pick the switches a little bit faster from this position. Okay, that's the power on the navigators panel switched off. From here on, we make sure that the engine and wing anti-ice is turned off. Then we turn off the hydraulic pumps, which we can find over here. That's the hydraulic pumps off. The next step, we're going to set the fuel pumps. Now, fuel pumps, as always on this plane, are a little bit more complicated, but let's make it easy. First of all, we're going to turn off the entire bottom row of the uh, pumps like this and then for the top row on the left side we've more or less got to have these three and the one on top and then on this one we only keep this pump and finally going one further to the right we switch this off and we're only going to keep these two so that's the fuel pump configuration that we're looking for for the shutdown next up we go over to the electrical panel and make sure that the APU generators are both on and in use. And then we can select the engine generators off. With the engine generators selected off, we can finally go ahead and cut off the fuel, which we can do right here at the start panel. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is the engines shutting down. We're going to wait until the engines have turned down and until the N2 is below 20% for all engines. And once that is done, we move forward to the captain's position and we switch off the entire switches we have up here in the overhead panel. And the same goes for the first officer's position. Now that the switches are off, all that's left is the beacon light, the nav light, and then we are done on the captain's position, so we move back to the flight engineer's position, switch off the rectifiers and the transformer rectifiers, and finally we can switch off the batteries as needed. Now, remember we are still running on the APU, so it might be a good idea to switch the APU off before we shut down the batteries. So press the two buttons to shut down the APU, and now we can see the APU slowly starts to run down. So, once the APU is down, we're going to switch off the batteries, and that is going to conclude the flight. I would already like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for sticking with me on those tutorials all the way to the end and I surely hope that you have learned something. Now, head out and start flying your own Antonov 225, and believe me, this is a really fun plane to fly once you've mastered it. It takes a little bit, and mastering it will take some studying, however, you can be sure it is a very rewarding airplane to fly, and it's so versatile due to all the different weights at which you can fly it. There's basically 400 tons difference between the maximum takeoff weight and the empty weight of the airplane. So this is definitely fun to fly in all kind of different configurations.
So, APU is off. We can switch off the fire detectors and the APU master switch. And with those turned off, we are going to flick off the batteries. And that's going to be it. So, thank you very much for flying, everyone. I hope that you have learned something. And I'm looking forward to see you all flying the Antonov in the virtual skies. Thank you very much for watching. Finally, if you want to support the channel, you can do so using the Buy Me a Coffee link in the video description below, or by becoming a channel member, which is going to give you exclusive early access to new videos before they are released to the general public, and in first class membership, even the ability to request your own videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you all again very soon.